I've only got two songs left, bro. How crazy is that? He's so intimate, he sounds like he's here. That was a black metal version of the breakdown, man. And each song has its own place, man. That's what I love as well. Like musically, it's perfect. It has like each song has its own place, and it's not like any song is going to get boring. Like each song is different to its to to the next one after. Like, no two songs sound the same. They they all that they all within the same theme of the album. Like, they all sound like they're meant to be here, but they're just placed perfectly and and composed perfectly. To be honest with you, but still, man. Tormentor of Dark and Fury, the blood thorns rot infested beauty. The sky is black by raven's wing. So there's like ravens flying in the sky, turning the sky black. I mean, that's a fucked up. It's either one very big raven or a lot of fucking ravens. Ungodly ground, nocturnal glory. So your darkness is triumphant, basically. N Legion serpents are blasphemy. Like, obviously, serpent is the way Lucifer, like, you know. The cross is twisted by unhallowed divinity. So the cross is it's upside down. The demon ancient king of night. The frozen pathway. Luciferian, right? Like a lot of um, depictions of hell have it frozen over. Or have it frozen in places. Like it's not always frozen. There's places to burn, places to freeze. It depends what version of hell you go towards, man. There's like, you go through the nine circles of hell. You can go through loads of different versions of it. It's a pound, right? There's even like spawn and shit like that that has its own version of hell. But it depends where you want to go with it. When you've got like Hades and Greek mythology and that type of stuff too, sir. So. So Deus Mali, I don't know who Deus Mali is or what it is, but I'm assuming if I search it, I will most likely find out, which might help us out a little bit. It's like a, it's like a supreme being. It's like a it's like a god or a demonic god or something to that degree. The triumph face of rise inferno from the dying light of Christ in reverence to dawn. So yeah, the light of the light of Christ is like going away basically that's going darkness is taking hold like in reference to the darkness but being able to overthrow it finally evil spreads where i behold the blood of night damnation divine so yeah damnation now becomes divine because there is no more religion or there's no more like goodness on the planet just evil and darkness take back over that makes sense right i guess so yeah, let's
This bell will just sit pretty bad. It's so creepy, I love his voice setting, his voice is so cool here. I love this guitar line. This guitar line is awesome. Creepy. Then their vocals make it even creepy. I don't know why I push it back, I don't need to push it back, but still. I think it's force a habit to be fair. But we've got most of this already done. Most of this is literally all just broken down already. It is quite literally just about what I've already broken down. Just about that Christ light passes, that darkness takes back over, that the frozen parts of how come back and there's a way to get to it. That information comes back into the world that those things that were burnt, the things that were lost will now slowly begin to rebuild themselves and to that degree like it's darkness but at the same time you can see it as good at the same time it's not always going to be good because obviously it's very luciferian very 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 opposite of it's still within religion you know what i mean like people think like black metal is very non-religious or it's as religious as christian music like it's just the opposite angle you know what i mean like black metal is as religious as say what a what a normal hymn is like, because it's all based on that whole mythology, even if it's meant to be completely against it, it's still in that same realm of possibility, you know what I mean, so, either way, last song to go, man, it's 